How's it going, everyone? It's Sonic Ninja 101 here, and I just finished watching the first episode of Samurai Jack's newest season, and I gotta say, they kept their promise, and the tone for this new season is pretty dark. Before I continue, there's going to be plenty, and I mean plenty of spoilers ahead, so if you don't want to be spoiled, go and check out the first episode, and then come back when you're done. So after a 13 year long hiatus, Jack's finally back, and boy, have things changed. 50 years have passed since Jack's, um, excuse me, since Jack's last adventure, and just as I predicted in my last video, Jack lost his mystical sword from what looked like a previous battle against Aku sometime during the time skip. Not only that, but from what Jack said during the episode, Aku has also destroyed his only way back to the past. I think because of all of this, Jack felt that he lost his way and is no longer the same samurai that we all know and love. I mean, we do still see him helping people out. That was clearly demonstrated when Jack saved that little girl and her family from an army of beetle bots at the beginning of the episode. But we later see something that I never thought we would ever see from Jack. For the first time ever, he actually ignored a call for help. I mean, if it was anyone else, I could understand. But time and time again, we've seen Jack selflessly help anybody and everybody in need. This has always been Jack's greatest strength and weakness. But it was because of that it always made me think of him as the most noblest warrior ever. So it was something else to see Jack leave that village when he knew something wrong was happening. We'll get back to that in a little bit. Now another thing that I found surprising is that Aku apparently can reproduce. Remember those female assassins we saw during the trailer for the new season? Yeah, those are his daughters. And honestly, I gotta say, I feel so bad for them. Their entire lives have been focused on training to kill Jack. That means that each of the girls have had to endure some pretty brutal training. However, I did notice something about one of the daughters. I can't remember her name, but she seems different from the others. Unlike the other girls, she thinks more about what's going on around her. And it's because of this, I believe she might become an ally to Jack later on. Now back to Jack. After he had what I can only best describe as one of the world's most darkest guilt trips ever, he finally rushed over to help that village that he previously abandoned. Once he arrived, he discovers that it's too late. Jack then comes face to face with the one responsible for all of this senseless carnage, a robot assassin sent by Aku to lure out Jack. This assassin actually had some pretty interesting tricks up his sleeves. For one, he actually had a magical flute that could bring boulders and debris to life and create a giant rock monster. Another thing too was that this assassin could also use his voice to control his sword and have it fight Jack on its own. And finally, he also possessed another sword that after it came into contact with another object, it created this ear piercing noise that blasted whatever it came into contact with into dust. It was no surprise that Jack was once again able to defeat the assassin. He even took the guy's sword once the fight was over and just continued on his way. The episode ends with Aku's daughters finally completing their training and are on their way to go after Jack. Now I wanted to mention one last thing before I move on to my final thoughts. And that I noticed when Jack had his mental breakdowns, he was haunted by this mysterious samurai figure. I originally thought it was Jack once he finds himself again. Could that be the case, or is it completely something else? Only time will tell. Now on to my final thoughts. I honestly have no idea how I feel about this new season. I know a lot of you have embraced the new direction that Gendy and the others have taken the series, but to me it doesn't feel like the same old Jack that I grew up with as a kid, and I can't say that I am completely on board um, with this new season. But no matter what, I've already decided to stick with it to the end. Gendy and so many people have put in so much work and effort to bring us this conclusion to one of the most celebrated TV shows ever. So I'm going to honor their work all the way to the end. So anyways, tell me what you guys thought of the episode. What were some of the things that you liked or disliked? Let's get a um, discussion started down in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this little review of the first episode of Samurai Jack Season 5. If you did, then please hit that like button faster than the speed of sound. And if you're new to the channel, then why not subscribe to the channel as well. It'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you all so much for watching. And remember, a chili dog a day keeps the Eggman away. Love and God bless you and hopefully all you guys again in our next adventure.
Bye.